Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheffer and welcome to lesson five in Google Slides on how to insert images. So to insert an image, you're going to tap on the plus sign, which is on the right hand side in between the share button and the comment button. This is the insert menu. The first thing you're going to see is comment. And this would be if you are working in a presentation collaboratively with your classmates, um, you can comment back and forth to one another as you're building the presentation together, or maybe your teacher is giving you feedback. So you'll be seeing comments from your teacher. The next command on that menu is to add a text box. And then the third option down is image. So I'm gonna tap on image and I have two options. I have from photos, which are photos saved on my camera roll, or I can launch the camera from within the Google Slides app. More often than not, you're going to save photos on your device and so you're going to select from photos just as a quick review on how to go about saving photos to your device if we open up google images and i've done a quick google image search on lion you see i have images selected not all so images is the second choice and it, when i find an image of the lion that i like that i want to save to my camera roll i'm going to tap on it and it's going to open now rather than take a screenshot and crop it um, if some of you are doing that, I'd encourage you to um, no longer do it that way. Rather, what you can do is just simply tap on that image, hold down just for a, a moment or two, and you're gonna see download image and share image. When you tap on download image, it's going to save to your camera roll. So the days of taking a screenshot and then hitting edit and cropping it, um, hopefully will be over for you if you weren't aware of that. Um, quick and easy way to instantly get photos on your camera roll, and you will not have to do any cropping whatsoever. So that is a um, quick tip I want to share with you. So now I'm gonna go back into my presentation, and I'm gonna tap on From Photos. Now it's important to think about where you're placing that photo. So this photo, for example, in the third row, of the lion roaring is a, a beautiful photo. It's um, really awesome. So if I tap on that and I hit add in the upper right hand corner, as you can see, it's a great photo, but for the purpose of my cover slide, it really might not be the best um, option. I may want to reserve this for a future slide where I can have some, maybe some bulleted facts about the lion, specifically a fact about the roar of a lion would be um, the best type of fact to <clears throat> correspond with this picture. So I am going to tap on this photo one time, and then I'm gonna see that black menu appear, which we've seen in previous lessons. And now I can hit delete to remove that photo because I wanna pick something that's gonna fit nicely in between the lion and the king of the jungle. So I'm gonna go back to the plus sign. I'm gonna go to images from photos, and I'm gonna choose this one here in that first row, and it shows both the lion and a cub. And I can start to just simply drag the photo to make it large. And I would highly recommend making your photos sort of the focus of a lot of your slides because that's the whole point of a Google slide presentation. This is visual in nature. So if you find that your slides are filled with predominantly text, then you might wanna be using a Google Doc. So think visual, think pictures. Now I've just covered my text and I don't wanna do that. So if I tap one time on that photo, this is where you may have to do some practice with this because it is sensitive. So as you can see, I tapped one time and then that black submenu appears. Send to back is what I'd want to select. And now I have the photo behind the text. And when I tap away, I can then tap on my text and I can move where I want these uh, text boxes to appear. And this looks <clears throat> really beautiful. This is really stunning. A great um, 
great looking opening to my presentation. Now you'll notice in the left hand corner that is that little tiny white line there. So I'm gonna just move that over. That is part of the template that I've selected and I kind of want to eliminate that. And just by simply stretching out the photo slightly, I was able to cover those lines. Now, um, we don't want to stretch the photo so much that it distorts the quality of the image. So you'll want to be mindful of that. Now, the next thing you want to make sure that you do is even though it looks great here in this view, we want to tap on that present mode so that we know we can still see the font and everything looks the way we want it to look when we're presenting in front of our class and our teacher. So we're going to tap on that. It looks like the play button. It's right next to the share button. We're going to tap present on this device to see if we need to make any adjustments. And fortunately, we don't. This looks really fantastic. And this is going to, I think, capture our audience's attention right away um, because it is really visually stunning. So to get back into edit mode, we're going to tap on that black space at the top and we're going to tap the X and it's going to bring us back into um, our present mode so we can continue to edit this presentation. So that is um, simply how to add images. You can add more than one image. So again, if I tapped on that plus sign, I tap image from photos, I can add multiple images at once. And when I hit add, they come up at once, um, all at once, and I can shrink them down. If I wanted to create sort of a collage, I could do that. So you can resize all of the images, including that background one that I did. But again, less is more, okay? So if you did that and you said, oh, you know, I really don't like that. I'm gonna stick to what Ms. Sheffer said. I'm going to just have one really crisp, clean image. I can hit the back or undo button. So I'm gonna undo until those photos go away, or I can just simply tap one time on those photos that I added and I can hit delete. So think less is more, um, keep it simple, and the audience will pay attention to what you're saying versus being distracted with all of the um, elements on your slide. In the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to add additional slides.